Sani Bonani, and welcome to my channel. This is Matt Daniels. And if you're here for, oh, sorry, did I just reveal my parenting secrets? Like you guys didn't see. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is Matt Daniels and if you are here for the first time, welcome and please do subscribe and if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. So today I'm going to be like sharing with you guys my potty training journey and how it has just been a huge massive headache. Like I don't know if each and every single parent struggles this much when it comes to potty training because I am struggling. I am struggling. I am unable to can. I am unable to deal. I am unable to handle the emotional abuse, torture, torment. What is um, what is another word for? I, I just want to give you a word. The bombastment of my spirit by potty training. You know, I, I knew parenting was going to be hard. The thing is, there's a lot of things in parenting that I was prepared for. Like, for example, labor. I was prepared for labor. Even though you can never be prepared enough for labor because... <laughs> so, but then emotionally, I was prepared, you know. So whenever I felt pain and it was the most painful pain that I've never felt in all of my entire existence or even felt when I was watching someone on TV, you know, it was just a horrible experience, you know. But... I was prepared for it because I was told that it's going to be like nothing I've ever experienced before, you know, so emotionally I was ready, but no one prepares you for potty training, you know, because when you have a baby, you know, you're going to change a nappy, a nappy. So every time you have to change a nappy and you are prepared and ready for it emotionally, but who prepares you for potty training? Like no one, you know, so my potty training journey has been nothing but a horrible torture hell on earth like i don't know how you guys do it i don't know how your experiences have been but if you like have tips that i can actually use to just make this whole thing better i would really love if you shared them on the comment section and please don't forget to like this video and yes so for me when i started um training my child uh, I think it was like during the lockdown, I started training him, I started training him. And then when I went back to school, I would tell my helper that please make sure that you take him so that he can, you know, do the dirt. So at first, she, I, every, every day when I would come back from work, she'd tell me that, I'll be like, like, did he, did he like, did he, you know? And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, he did, he did. You know, so it was like that. It went on, went on almost all um, throughout the year, right? up until when school closed towards the end of the year like just before uh, yeah just after school closed and i just like most of the time on weekends um i would take him for potty training and then it was just hard for me to train him and i didn't understand what was happening because during the week she says she does not have a problem but i didn't really take it to consideration because i thought no like why would she lie and say that he pooped when he didn't you know so it went on like that and I realized well, something is not right. I remember one of the days when I took him and she was like, yeah, I'm also the, I'm a poor male. And I was like, what do you mean? Because you are the one who would tell me all the time that he's pooped when I come back from work. I'm sorry for saying the word. You know, I just don't have a better word to replace it, you know? So she would pay, she'd be like, you pooped. And I was like, so what do you mean that that he, you struggle with him? Because you've never told me that you struggle with him. You know, so that put a big halt in my progress when it comes to potty training and it means I took longer for me to train him and then when school closed um and I started to like train him like every day and I think like it's worse when the child is stubborn you know my child is so stubborn he's not that kind of like you can hold a stick for Levi and say Levi stop what you're doing and if he does not want to stop you know you he's not gonna stop he's, not, he's just gonna keep doing what he wants to do you know so he's so stubborn and that makes it even more hard because i'll be like okay levi i want you to pee before you go to bed because levi doesn't pee at night that's the thing he, he won't pee like the whole night and then he, he would wake up in the morning and then be lazy to go outside and he will just pee on the bed you know not for, for no particular reason for, for like no reason at all you know and and it's just it's just such 
yo it's such a job you know dealing with such a stuff when people spoke about the terrible tools i didn't know they meant the 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 the, the like horrible you know destroying soul crushing tools <laughs> you know but i love it i love it but i hate it i love it but i hate i hate having to watch wash the andes you know when he's decided no he doesn't want to tell me that he wants to poop and then he decides to poop in his andes and i have to 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 get rid of the situation i mean i have thrown away a couple of andes because i was like you know what not today devil not today i just took it and i was like outside you know but you know yeah some days uh, most of the days actually like some of the days where he actually um does you know have like an accident or decides no i just want to torture my mom you know i have to make sure that i take the pen or whatever and i wash it with these my two hands and it's you know you just you never get used to it you know i just I, there's just no getting used to it you know so it 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 it, it go it's something that you never prepared for you know it's something you never prepared for and you know it's it's just so disgusting you know disgusting so like i don't know you know i i i think i've managed so i think once he starts going to school maybe it's going to be like better you know so i i just don't know how to get him sometimes to just tell me you know and i used to feel like you know maybe there should be a man if there was a man who could just show him or maybe just like sit on the toilet and i'm like i'll show you like you do this bit so now the thing is when i i sit on the toilet when he gets on his toilet he also sits down even if he wants to pee and you know that men aren't supposed to sit down when they pee that's us we sit down when we want to pee you know so men are supposed to hold my even when i come and i show him levi do this do this and then he's just yo because yeah my child is so stubborn like dunderhead like not that dunderhead like he doesn't understand he understands what you want you know he just won't give you the satisfaction of giving it to you without the both of you fighting <laughs> you know so it's it's ish uh potty training it's just it's it's something that i honestly was not ready for it's it's have, it has been nothing but but torture for me and still torture you know because like my son is, is how he's almost no no he's not he's, he's two right yeah he's two so like I, I don't know someone told me that when it's boys they actually take longer um when it comes to potty training than with girls you know but then because of the whole delay i think my son like took longer than he should have you know but a friend of mine also told me that I should start training him at least at two years and of which i did but i feel like by now you know we my, like we have mastered the basics you know i just wish that some he could tell me all the time all the time like all the time i, I want to pee and i take him to his toilet you know or whatever so i i don't know it's just been it's been a pain you know it's been a pain it's not been easy and i read and try you know to have a routine because i know what time he goes and but then when it comes to the ping part the problem is the ping part when he's like wearing pants and wearing and this he doesn't say take off my pants so that i can pee but when he's not wearing anything when he wants to pee he goes outside you know and he pees outside and or where he goes to his toilet and pees in his toilet depends where he is you know if he's in the sitting room he's go, gonna go outside if he's in the bedroom then he's gonna go to his toilet you know so it depends it all depends on where he is and what he's wearing if he's wearing pants he doesn't even bother i don't know he or maybe sometimes he'll go into his toilet and then he will he will he'll sit with the pants on you know so it's really been uh like a challenge like it's really been a challenge it's been like torture and torment i remember this other faithful day this guy came over and then he's like Mets, can i see you and i'm like sure i'm coming and then he he was like um around the corner he was like 
parked around the corner and when he was parked around the corner i was like okay i'm gonna just leave levi with the shock on all out inside the house because i'm gonna be standing by the gate then i go and i stand by the gate and when i'm standing by the gate someone calls me it's like mama said oh my gosh you cannot believe it and i'm like oh, what happened he's like levi has pooped he has pooped all over i got into the house i got into the room and that day i felt like my life was about to end i got in and he and i i put on a nappy for him before i left so that if ever anything happens he can like not have that mistake he took off his his nappy he pooped on the floor there was poop on the duvet poop on the pillows poop on the wall poop on the phone guys there was poop everywhere you know and i felt like my head was gonna spin i felt like i could just faint like the ground could just open and i go inside like it was oh because <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's yeah, penetrating ah you know, and you must remember that as they grow even the product itself matures to demonstrate their age you know so it was not oh because yeah I, that day i remember i i had to first dispose the nappy i had to clean the floor i had to change the sheets and bath the baby i remember this other day also i was standing with someone outside and i'm carrying Levi on on my hand right i'm carrying him on my hand and as i'm carrying him on my hand he just starts hooping on my hand i'm standing outside with people and he's up hooping. and then i'm like you know what i'm gonna see you some other time let me just go change this baby and i was like i'm not gonna come back because after this we're just gonna both, we'll both have to bath you know just gonna have to bath and it was it was it was late you know and i was like oh because i'm lingan oh so it's it's your it's it's such a drag it's such a drag and it's such a drain you know so that's my potty challenge potty training journey how like post your comment on how your journey has been how has potty training been for you if you are still going to have a child do you think that you can be able to deal with you know such challenges of having to wash undies like do you know when you have to when you see the matured poop they on the undies and you have to get rid of it and you have to wash with your hands with after washing with your two hands this that you use for the purpose of eating right then you you get like hungry instantly and you have to eat something with the very same hand like are you gonna be able to handle you know will you deal like there's a washing machine but then there's there, there's just some things they don't need a washing machine they need a bucket you know they need a bucket and i can't just like plug the whole washing machine especially because of the kind of water that we had this side i can't just like plug the whole washing machine just to wash one pants with shit when i have these babies <laughs> so that's my journey how has your journey been you know what has worked for you what are the tricks and tips that work for you like don't mind the noise my son is playing games it's the only way i can get him to not be in this video right now you know so yes that's me and my parenting journey so tell me your experience tell me um how it's been for you tricks that i can try to make sure that i progress even further moving from here let's share our stories and thank you guys for watching bye musa musa Come on, charge your phone. I'm going to go soak. I'm going to go soak now. I would. 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 I Hit my child i'm not a child hitter you know but it helps for emphasis when you want him to do something like just for no like i don't hit him i'm just saying that you know it's just it's like the security guards when they carry around guns you know that they don't use them you know but at least when you go with a gun to arrest the criminal you know for just to add sauce 
to the whole scenario so that's me right now with it <laughs> so thank you so much you guys for watching